Okay, um, hi, Seamus, uh, I don't normally make video responses or anything, but, um, you, you're just, I, I don't normally make video responses, I don't know if the light, if you can see me very well, okay, it's not gonna work, but anyway, um, I, I can just relate to your kind of, um, Bitterness. I just, I, I would have put this in the comments, but it wouldn't fit. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to type it out, and it went way past the um, character count. And my hair is, <laughs> I don't care. Um, so I, I don't know if you'll exactly have time to like watch this or anything. I just wanted to relate because, um, um, like, I, people, especially in high school, you know, people can, people can suck, and um, yeah, I. <laughs> I can't, like, I can relate more to middle school because, um, I'm in his, I'm in high school now, um, and, uh, I'm a freshman, and, um, I, it, it may, <laughs> I may sound, like, really selfish or, um, ungrateful saying this, but because I go to a art school in, um, Chicago, and it's it's actually like a really really like good school like it's small which I really love because I don't like being with a lot of people and especially in a school because you get special attention and you know everybody which is really nice and the community is great and um and you know it just everything about it is so like the education is really good it's um it's not like a really like prestige well this is a excuse me it's a prestige school but it's not like um it's not like, like a super like rich well, it, it is kind of but it's not like it's it, the people there don't really brag about it too much well not that I know of but um, it's not too well known and it's not like Harvard or something it's like it's a small little art school that we all love and that everybody who puts a lot of effort into it, everybody who's associated with that school puts a lot of effort into it and anyway um, so I'm in theater. I'm an actor, and um, I want to be in the theater industry. And um, if uh, I like, you may may or may not know this, depending on your background in theater. But it's a very ensemble thing, and everybody who's in the cast, the crew, everybody in a show works together as an ensemble to make this one really, really, really beautiful art. And um, our school, uh, the the department that I'm in, we we all make a lot of beautiful art, like a, like a lot of really good theater, a lot of really good shows. Um, and when everybody's in a show, the whole department kind of like comes together and does this. And despite um, kind of groups, like you know, there's approximately twenty to thirty people in our department, and. Um, so, and the thing, it's, it's, it's a really weird thing, because I'm, I'm kind of going on, this is leading somewhere, um, uh, outside of shows, people have formed, like, kind of, almost little cliques, but they don't exclude anybody, sort of, like, here's the thing I've really noticed, like, I'll be talking with people, like, you know, I'll be talking with some people in the department, and, like, every, it's not like, um, usually the seniors and juniors, like upperclassmen, usually mix w and mingle with lower classmen very, very often. So I mean, there's no there's no problem there. And the thing is that um, like I'll be talking to some people, and and eventually like people start to like you know like it'll be a group of like four or five or like five or six people, and then two people will leave to go find somebody else which makes it four people, me and like three others, and then they'll go, and then another two will go off, and then the last person will kind of go off and find their own friend. Like, they always have somebody that they can really go to, and I've noticed that, like, you know, it's, nobody really comes to me, and it makes me feel lonely sometimes, even though I know, I know they, like, love me and appreciate me and stuff, and it's just, it's really weird, it's a really weird thing. And so I was talking to one of my, um, friends that's a senior, and it turns out he's the same way. He, um, he kind of had that, he has that same problem. And so we were talking a while, 
And so it's just really weird, you know? Even, like, like, this kind of stuff happens everywhere. And, you know, I just wanted to relate. That's... I remember in middle school, I had a really tough time, though. Just with everything in general. Because I... <laughs> And you can't see that I wear a top hat every day. Um, and I, I'm just a very odd character, if you know me, or if you get to know me and stuff. So I don't know. Um, it's getting kind of long in terms of whatever. I don't get, I don't really care. Um, so yeah, it's just very weird. And, um,. I remember especially in middle school, stuff sucked. You got made fun of for where... I kind of have, like, a gothic kind of style. Like, whatever. Um, it's not like... It's it's my own thing. Like, um, really the only colors that I'll wear are red, black, and white. Just because they're my favorite colors and I've always kind of stuck with them. Um, I wear some kind of Victorian stuff sometimes. Like, um, well, top hat for one, but I also have, like, a couple of cool vests that I use, that I have and wear, and ties, and, like, sometimes I get, like, tuxedo, like, shirts and top hat and, like, a tie, and I just got made fun of a lot for my style, and how kind of outgoing I was, I'm, I'm very energetic, I've... ADHD and I just am everywhere at once usually and I'm very like I can be just really energetic and kind of insane and stuff and uh, I don't know like just people made fun of me for being myself really like that was it it just whenever I get too weird they just leave me you know I've, I've I always had problems with friends leaving me for no reason for other friends for because I'm just weird um, that was a problem in elementary school and middle school and it, it was it's been really hard like it's it really it gets to you sometimes really so I can definitely relate with that um but um on the subject of you um uh, you're <laughs> I know you use this term rather sarcastically, which I love your humor. I've actually kind of picked up on sarcasm myself. But, you know I, I honestly don't say this a lot of like about a lot a lot of people, like this is honestly like a compliment, but you're you're a pretty cool guy. You know? Like <laughs> I I just love like you're just really awesome to listen to. And um, you're very you're very smart. Like you 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 definitely have you have all like these opinions and viewpoints that you ve you feel very strongly about. And it's like I appreciate that. Like I can I I have those too. Like like I know like I always question my own choices and judgment and what I think is right and wrong. And um, I just you're. You know, I just like to listen to you talk well, and you're, you're really funny. <laughs> you're really funny with your um, all your sarcasm and kind of like complaining, and um, just I, I I just love like it. And oh, I love your you're so you're so like connected with your audience when you when you speak. Like whenever like I always feel like um, like in some in some YouTube like videos like some YouTubers like. Um, they're not connected with their audience, and I especially find this in like uh, uh, game gamers and commentary gamers, like the creatures and everybody, that they're very connected with their audience, and it's really, it, it just like, it 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 works. Like like people like connecting with you guys as the creatures, and um, you do that very well. You share stories with us, and you um, you know. You have kind of like uh, you just talk to us a lot about different things, and it's nice. <laughs> it really is. And um, 
you're you're just great. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes when I'm doing homework, I like to listen to your videos just to hear you speak about things. Yeah, this is getting pretty long, so I'm going to wrap it up because I don't want to waste too much of your time. Unless you enjoy this, then. Yay. <laughs> okay. Well, I will... Hmm, how should I end this? I'll be a continuing audience member of you, I guess. I don't know. Bye-bye.